Intel's new Core i5 and Core i7 family of CPUs is in a different league from their Core 2 quad predecessors. The Core i5 and the Core i7 central architecture borrows from the enthusiast Core i7-900 and enterprise class Xeon 5500 families. An improved version of Turbo Boost is a key feature in both the Core i5 and the Core i7. Built-in logic detects how much of the processor is being utilized, one, two, or four cores. Inactive cores are automatically shut down, reducing heat and power consumption, while active cores are boosted by as much as four bins in the Core i5 and five bins in the Core i7. The new Core i7-800 series CPUs are a step up from the Core i5 processors. Like the Core i5, they're quad-core chips with an integrated two-channel memory controller and onboard PCI Express 2.0 support, but they run at higher stock clock rates, operating at up to 2.93 GHz by default, and up to 3.6 GHz with Turbo Boost fully engaged. So why upsell to Core i7? Hyperthreading. This feature enables the four physical cores of the Core i7 to address up to eight threads. That means a potential increase of upwards of 30% in speed when running in threaded programs. Now that Core i5 and Core i7 sport an integrated memory controller in PCI Express, there's no need for a conventional north bridge. That component disappears, and the functionality once handled by the south bridge migrates up closer to the CPU, becoming the platform controller hub. The P55 chipset features 14 USB 2.0 ports, 8 of its own PCI Express 2.0 lanes, 6 SATA ports, an integrated gigabit Ethernet Mac, and Matrix Storage Manager. In shifting from a 3-chip to a 2-chip platform design, Intel simultaneously simplifies motherboard layout and curbs cost, while still keeping many of the features available from their higher-end lineup of product. Intel is stepping up its enthusiast appeal, introducing two P55 Extreme Series motherboards. The DP55KG is a full-size ATX circuit board with open-ended slots that accept add-in cards larger than the physical connector. That's important because when a customer wants to go from a single graphics card to two, all you have to do is drop the second GPU into the BI-8 slot. Intel's Micro ATX DP55SB has a smaller footprint, but still provides plenty of expansion for those looking for a Crossfire SLI solution that's maybe more suitable for transportation to a LAN party, or need a system that packs the power of the larger board without the need to utilize valuable dorm room real estate. Both boards include a back-to-BIOS maintenance switch, a post-diagnostic LED readout, digital voltage regulation, and Intel's desktop control center software, facilitating easy overclocking from within Windows. For the mainstream customers, Intel introduces two new media series motherboards. The DP55WG includes the same Crossfire SLI graphics capabilities, advanced audio features, and onboard expansion as the DP55KG, but it reigns in some of the overclocking extras more casual desktop users won't need. The DP55WB is a micro ATX solution with a price point of around $100. It still manages to deliver P55's capabilities in a package perfect for the SMB marketplace. The P55 platform packs the perfect punch for today's marketplace. Plenty of processor power, a full featured chipset, and the ability to choose the right motherboard with the right features. Check it out.